the india is a big paper consumer of paper and large number of uh, paper suppliers are exit and they are supplying their paper products you as a uh, international company how do you see indian market for gro growth of your company man india is actually growing at an exponential rate at the moment mm -hmm. not just in paper in all other grades so we've been in the indian market now for over 15 years and we are still increasing our business so it's a very important market for us in term of quality and price how do you differentiate your paper product from indian uh, made paper products well obviously i i would like to say that my paper is better but we it's a competitive market and we compete with the manufacturers here um the indian paper industry is generally a net importer of paper anyway the the amount what is used in india is not actually produced in india so there is a place mm -hmm. for international players to come and take a stake of the market with the, which is the reason why we are here presently department on foreign trade under the ministry of commerce has recommended the ministry that a4 paper from thailand malaysia and china should be uh, come under the levy of the uh, anti dumping duty how do you see the impact of international suppliers well my major supply comes from europe and uh, other countries other than the ones you're mentioning so for us it will be obviously a chance to get a fair share of the market because these countries have pretty much 0% duty we as european or american suppliers find it difficult to compete in this particular segment but from what i know last week there was some kind of hearing and this duty idea has been scrapped so i don't know you know what's happening in that at that end right now but i doubt that there will be anti dumping duty on copier paper it's a, it's any recommended sir it, it's a matter is pending with the ministry of commerce i i know the matter is pending but last week one of like when we we found out that this was thrown out by the ministry that there is no duty been levied on a for copier well that's what i know but of course you know if there is any anti dumping levy it will give the other countries a fairer chance in the market which we don't have at the moment we hardly supply any copier paper mm -hmm. at the moment in indian market okay you are planning to invest uh, in india yes what opportunity do you see in indian market to in especially in manufacturing segment yes. see uh, the current prime minister of india mr narendra modi is he is really driving the make in india campaign i'm an indian by birth and i think it's a good campaign i do see an opportunity in the indian market like i said india is still a net importer of paper so there are definitely opportunities in the manufacturing sector here and that's why we are actively looking to seek our investments in the paper industry in india do you see your investment plan uh, depend on the chinese ban of raw material in their country no i've been actually exploring this for last two years so no i i don't see that as a dependency for what china is doing mm -hmm. my purpose of you know looking for manufacturing plants in india is simply to cater to the indian domestic market okay uh, okay what kind of paper manufacturing you are looking for right now packaging grades that's the future purely purely craft paper uh, not just craft paper but packaging grades so beside craft paper there are packaging grades like bleach craft c1s you know other grades which are used in pharmaceutical industry and other industries so when we are looking for this investment we are keeping our eyes open in any packaging segment not just craft paper okay what amount of uh, investment you are looking to invest in coming time i let you know when i've done that investment Okay. Yeah. Asia pulp and paper is seeking land, and they are identifying the land, 2,500 acre land. Yeah. And they are setting up the 15,000 per ton a big uh, paper manufacturing plant in India. They will manufacture all writing, printing, packaging grade papers. This kind of condition scenario. How do you see your investment? I I don't see any problem. with them there is still a huge market mm -hmm. which is open to the you know even further investment in the market so it's good actually app setting up a plant here but i don't see that as a problem for what I, my future vision for manufacturing in india is okay what growth of uh, packaging grade in especially in indian market do you see 
Well, it's uh, hard to say, especially in Indian market, but by 2020, mm. the packaging industry, you know, globally is supposed to grow to a trillion dollar mark, the paper industry, including packaging. So obviously we want to take a little bit share of that. Government is planning to ban the single-use plastic. So do you have any uh, alternate product that are made of paper? Almost everything that you can package with plastic can be actually packaged in the paper products. The advantage is that paper is organic, it is biodegradable, mm -hmm. unlike plastic. And I think, you know, it's a really big welcome move by the government of India because when we come to India, you know, I'm an Indian, I'm born and brought up here. But we have a huge problem here with the waste management and plastic is toxic, it doesn't degrade. And uh, give me an example, you know, you look at tea bags, you look at wafers, chips, you know, you look at plastic straws, which are already now, you know, made out of paper. There aren't actually a lot of products which cannot be packaged with plastic. And even in plastic, you know, there are now innovations going on to replace that with biodegradable plastic. So paper, yeah, paper industry will see a huge boom in the future, especially in India with this ban. Once it's also, you know, being practiced by the companies who are, you know, doing this kind of packaging. But I think every plastic packaging can easily be um, any plastic packaging can easily be replaced with paper packaging. Uh, how do you see the China factor in, on the Indian market? Okay. How, how you evaluate this whole situation happening in China, the capacity shutdown and the, the paper mill in India, they are exporting the craft paper in China. So how do you see this all this scenario in terms of your business okay. setting up here? Uh, Obviously, you know, with the paper machines being capacity being taken out in China, it's on the premise of the pollution control. Um, to be fair, I mean, I'm going to take this out as a commercial proposition right now. Even though I'm a company and I want to be profitable and we want to grow and we want to make money, I don't think I want to do that at, at the cost of the environment. And in India, we have the same problems. So, you know, would I put up a manufacturing plant simply to, you know, take the, my share from India of the Chinese market and, you know, contribute to already very polluted Indian air, you know, I don't want to do that. Uh, there are better manufacturing happening in Europe and other parts of the world where, you know, this manufacturing and the air pollution is being controlled heavily. I mean, if I, I am taking a little bit of share of the Chinese market at the moment from other mills who are doing it more effectively, like I said before, my take on what I want to do is in, in, in India is purely, you know, for the domestic market. I'm not looking at it from, looking at it, at it um, sorry, from the Chinese point of view, uh, because like I said, you know, uh, the whole idea of manufacturing in India is to supply in India and to be fair recently there's been a slowdown in the Chinese market too you know from buying from India so you know the huge volumes which were going from India that's not the case right now paper market is quite volatile we need to move with you know this ever-changing environment I cannot make my investment here whole just solely thinking about the Chinese market that investment will be purely to cater to the domestic market if some business come of China we'll see but that's not the aim. Okay. <clears throat> in next five years, what is uh, your plan to in increase your market share? I can only talk about my global market share right now. Mm -hmm. um, so this year, end of this year, we should be on target of what I had planned for this year. I have already said in my previous interview, we are looking to grow to a hundred million uh, pound turnover. And that's where I see our future. And that is your global. Yeah. Uh, for what about you are operating in India for last 15 years? What market share you are currently holding and what you are expecting to increase in the next five years? Well, the market share in India is increasing steadily anyway. We are increasing our market share by 10 to 15 percent in India. We are moving into the packaging industry in India. And today, like we had some really good meetings with some manufacturers here. So I kind of look at, you know, the pro rata mm -hmm. increase in the market, in Indian market share, as I see for my global market share as well. So I think Indian market share should all should also increase by 30 to 40% in the next five years. Yeah. Great. Okay, thank you.